Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I go over all types of action figures, collectibles, comic books, sports cards, coins, and I always talk about buying at the right deals, the right prices, right? You gotta look for deals. Well, in today's episode, we could call it the, the, the daily toy deal, okay? Because last night I went out to Walmart and I bought a bunch of figures. As you can see, I am in one part of my collection room and behind me I have a bunch of action figures. Well, today we're gonna go over some Masters of the Universe, E-Man, some figures I picked up at a super price. I always talk about finding deals and it takes time and it takes, you know, a little bit of understanding how clearance works, how, where to look, how and why, right? Uh, why am I buying these at a deal? Because one, if I ever wanna sell them, I can get my money back. Or two, if I sell some stuff, I want to make a profit to fuel the hobby, to buy more stuff for the collection. And that's how we do this on this channel, and I always talk about things like that. So today, I'm going to start off with Skeletor. Now, when I was at Walmart last night, I bought, let me just put it this way, guys. I bought ten figures. I'm only going to show you guys four today. The four I'm going to show you right now are actually in my collection room. I'm going to keep them. Those got a little bit of beaten up on the bottom. It's not too bad, though. So, I really like this, and... By the way, just for the record, I gave away three already last night. And uh, I'll show you which three I gave away. Um, but this is Skeletor. Power attack. Check it out, guys. It looks pretty cool. You know, I think these were initially like closer to 15 bucks, I believe. There's one that had a sticker on it for like clearance that said 12 bucks. Um... I like these. I don't love them. E Man is. There's a sense of nostalgia for me. When I was a kid, I grew up um, like in the 90s, and I was a kid. And remember that live action He Man? If you've seen it, comment below, let me know. Remember when Dolph uh, Lundgren played uh, He Man? Well, it's funny because they were all live action and as a kid I really liked it I know a lot of people said they, they hated it or they didn't like it maybe because they're much older or whatever but as a kid I enjoyed it and I remember going into Toys R Us if you're a Toys R Us kid also let me know I remember going into Toys R Us and there's this box set I was with my grandma my grandma has Alzheimer's now and she's been de dealing with that for like five years but I remember going in there with her looking around seeing these He-Man set it was so cool because He-Man always stuck with me from that live action movie now i didn't collect a lot of he-man stuff but then all of a sudden out of the blue it just kind of resurged and then you know we get into all these crazy overproduced figures which we see in the markets now become peg warmers but that's when we us fans start picking up stuff at a bargain we like our deals guys now i'm going to show the four i'm going to jump into the next one but i also have some more nostalgia when I was a kid, I played baseball. I had a, a guy who was a pitching coach. His name was Gary Allen. He passed away now. I've known him from like 11 to like almost 30 years old. He passed away about four year, a couple years ago. And I didn't know this for about 10 years. But he's like, hey, did I ever tell you? I was a producer on the He-Man cartoon in the 70s. I'm, an, I'm a film TV commercial actor, by the way, also. But... The fact that I've knew this guy for so many years and never knew he was in show business blew my mind. And he was he was baffled, too, because we always were friends in baseball. But um, Gary was the producer on the show. This is the other one I'm keeping. This is another He-Man version. And uh, you got your power attack. Now, guys, I felt like I was robbed in Walmart last night. I'll tell you this much. When they were, when they were like, I don't know, they were like 12, 13 bucks or whatever at one point. And then I see them, and then I go to find out how much they were. Guys, you're not going to believe this. Just guess. What do you, Just what do you think I paid for these? I'll tell you at the end. Comment first. I'll tell you at the end. So then I picked up this guy right here. Almost reminds me of a glow-in-the-dark figure. The Power Attack He-Man. Which, you know, all four of these I'm keeping. And I did get several duplicates of this one as well. And I gave away one of these already. I gave away three total so far. <laughs> this is a cool little piece, you know? I'm not really into the cartoon versions of stuff, but I don't mind it. 
and I don't mind it because of price point, good deals. Those are so important to me. As a collector, you you're just kind of have this obsession where you want to keep collecting. But you know it takes money and all that other good stuff. That's why we have to find a balance between a mindset of a flipper, an investor, and a collector. So we can fuel the hobby to keep at it. And this is just a few pieces behind me. This is the last one I'm going to show you guys out of the four because these are the four I got. And it's right here. I'll tell you what. This is probably one of my favorites, though. Evil Lynn. I do like the colors. There's something cool about the horror aspect of her. And I gave away two of these. So... She's just going to sit right here in front of the spawn guy for now on the pegboard. The other three I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with. But one more time, Evil Lynn, which we have Skeletor, which is really cool. I like Skeletor. I like He-Man. You know, a lot of the other characters, I'll be honest, I don't know a ton about. And I'm not, your, I'm not the biggest Masters of the Universe fan, but I do appreciate it, and I do have some... Like I told you guys, some stories there that's nostalgic, and it also kind of just brings me back. I can remember going in Toys R Us with my grandma, looking around, seeing that toy, that, that you know, He-Man stuff. And I remember that I loved watching the show at their house, my grandma and papa's house, as a kid in the 90s, watching that live action with Dolph. Um, yeah. And then, of course, the last one. So, all right, I told you guys I'll save it for the end. But first, hit that like button, comment below. Let me know what your guess is on how much you think I paid. And then also, guys, hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of content. I'm going to keep posting more stuff. But guys, I felt like I robbed Walmart because when I walked out of there, um, I played a dollar a figure. I was shocked. Even the lady, the people who worked there were just kind of like, oh, wow, okay. It's just one of those things you get lucky sometimes on the, on the toy hunting. You got to look for deals. And unfortunately, it's a sign of, you know, they were probably hard to get rid of, and Walmart is taking a loss. I'd be, sh I'm, I'm sure it costs more than a dollar to manufacture something like this. Probably closer to two dollars, my guess. Let's see, but then again, I don't know. But either way, Walmart probably had to move the merchandise because they started getting backed up. But I was super happy to have them, and uh, since I got such a sweet deal, I gave away three. And uh, I'm gonna tell you guys, I did pay a dollar a piece. I got ten figures. I have seven. I'm going to trade a couple other figures, and I'm going to keep these four in the collection. So thank you guys for watching. If you're Masters of the Universe fan, let me know what you guys think about this line. There's so many cool Masters of the Universe pieces out there. The vintage stuff is just so incredibly expensive because of the Netflix show and all the hype and demand that trickled down um, over the last couple years. But we're also seeing a time where they're just like, they put too much out at once, and I think it just became too much. So, anyways, I'll go over some more stuff with you guys later. Just let me know, and uh, be safe. Talk to you later.